Now let's talk a little bit about a very risky play, and that's check raising the turn. One of the other weapons at your disposal in the turn is the check raise. Once again, though, this is a play that should be used often in limit hold'em, but very sporadically in no limit for a few key reasons if you're a small ball player. The most obvious reason is that it makes the pot bigger, so you better be sure that's something you want to have happen before making this play. Two, being out of position, if your opponent calls you on the turn, you'll be faced with a difficult decision on the river. And three, a check raise could cost you pots that you could have won. That could happen one of two ways. Either A, you check raise with a drawing hand and your opponent re-raised, forcing you off the hand. Or B, he could re-raise you as a bluff, representing a hand that he doesn't think you have. The turn check raise is a power move, and like with any power tools, it should be handled with great care. The play also goes against many small ball concepts since it is designed to get more money in the pot, which will force bigger bets on the river. This is good when you have the nuts or close to it, and it's also why I suggest that when you do check raise the turn, that you have a monster hand.